The redeemed Christian Church of God, our Lord's heritage is for today. Hooray! How else can we express the grace of God? How can we thank Him enough? A church that started in a family house four years ago with very few people has grown into a congregation of peoples. The children are manifesting, men are blossoming, the youth are renewed like the eagle and the women are rejoicing. This indeed is a clear testimony of the manifestations of the sons of God. This congregation of happy people has continued to be a blessing to the community in several ways. They are committed to reaching out to the different home centers with the aim of identifying with their struggles. In the footsteps of Jesus Christ, they also serve and feed the hungry. God has done several amazing miracles to the church these four years. Members have continued to get better job opportunities. Children are delivered. Marriages are blessed and the church members are taught effectively and efficiently with divinely inspired messages. Church numerical and spiritual strength has increased tremendously to the glory of God. This is how Pastor Yinka Olanya expressed his joy. Praise the Lord. It's four years already. We bless the name of the Lord for the fourth anniversary of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, the Lost Heritage. And I want to uh, celebrate God and also to appreciate you for joining us in celebrating what God has been doing. It's been a wonderful four years. It's been challenging, but at the same time, it's been glorious. We've uh, seen the hand of God. We've, we've seen the move of God. Individually and as a church, there has been testimonies, and we give God all the glory for that. I remember four years ago, if anybody had told us that we will be where we are now, uh, it would have been a bit difficult to believe, but we bless the Lord because in spite of uh, our weaknesses, in spite of our lack of faith, so to say, God has been doing his work in our midst and we give him all the glory for that. And as we celebrate uh, the fourth year, we know that God, where God is taking us is going to be even far glorious than where we are coming from. Because the Bible says that of the increase of his government, there shall be no end. We know that God is doing his work in our midst. And we know that he will continue to do it. But I just want to encourage uh, every one of us, every member of the Lord's Heritage Parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. We need to fully surrender. We need to fully surrender to the Holy Spirit. We need to move with him. Because God wants to do his work in our midst, but he, he, he needs us to fully surrender to him, to align with the Holy Spirit, so that the purpose of God will be able to come to pass. And as we, the theme that God has given to us for the fourth anniversary is manifestation of the sons of God. And the inspiration of that came from the fact that many times God wants to move in the lives of his people, but the people of God are not ready. And the entire creation, just like the Bible says that the entire creation is actually awaiting the manifestation of the sons of God. But how will the sons of God manifest when they do not align with the Holy Spirit? So our, our own role is to fully align with the Holy Spirit, surrender to Him. Whatever He asks us to do, let's do it so that the purpose of God will begin to manifest. The glory of God will shine in our lives. And of course, the the uh, the Whatever goes with uh, the benefit of being the Son of God will also manifest in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Lord's Heritage is a congregation of favored people. The different activity groups gather together to share, encourage, motivate, and empower themselves to achieve great spiritual height. The women are role models. The virtues they receive through exhaustive teachings, guidance, and exemplary life of the woman leader. Deaconess Boki Olanyan, the woman's leader, is full of appreciation for what God has done for the woman fellowship in these four years. You're welcome to the fourth anniversary of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, the Lord's Heritage, here in Fort McMurray, Alberta, Canada. We thank you all for celebrating with us the fourth anniversary of the church. Uh, on behalf of the women, we want to give God praise for all that he has done for us in the past four years. God has added to us as women in the church. He has given us babies, new homes, 
He has blessed our families, encouraged our husbands, increased them in their places of work and businesses. He has given our children promotions on all levels. And we want to give God all praise. We also want to thank the Lord for the church of God that we fellowship here in the Lord's heritage. God has been faithful. The word of God has not been scarce in our midst. God has been giving us genuine word of God. He has given us undiluted word that has helped us in our homes and in the church and has given us grace even to live in the society as Christians. And so we just want to say thank you, our Father, for your help in the lost heritage, for our pastors, for all the leaders, for workers in the church. And we want to thank the Lord on behalf of the women for all that he has done for us in the four years that the lost heritage of the redeemed Christian church of God has been existing. Thank you all for coming, and God bless you. The men's group is blessed with dynamic activities and initiatives that have propelled their desire to serve God. They receive great ideas and biblical principles that enable them to provide spiritual guidance in their home. Brother Jagere, the men's leader, is very excited at what God has done for the men in this four years. We give God the glory for this fourth anniversary of the Lost Heritage, the Redeemed Christian Church of God. We bless God for the, His blessings and His grace upon our lives. The men who want to especially bless the name of the Lord and congratulate the church for this fourth anniversary. We have grown in leaps and bounds. Uh, the journey so far has been good. God has blessed us. God has increased us. We give glory to His holy name. And we know that the future can only be brighter and brighter for, for the men and all the members of the church. I want to, especially on behalf of men, thank, uh, the, thank the church and the pastorate for the support they've been giving the men. We thank God that our men have been taking their right roles in the church. Glory be to God. And we believe that we will continue to march forward as the church is going to another phase and we, we believe that God will continue to increase us and continue to bless us, our families, our children, and we'll continue to reap the benefits of our labor. And glory of God will continue to shine upon everyone, upon our, upon our household, upon our spouses, upon our children, and we'll continue to increase in all phases of our lives. The blessing of God shall continue to remain with us and with every member of the of the the lost heritage family. God bless you all. God has also transformed the youth. Most of them graduated from high school with honors. They are equipped with teachers to guide them in dividing the word of truth. Our youth are empowered with high standard of spiritual culture. These are principles that guide them even when they return to their various schools. The youth leader, Sister Funke Banjoko, has this to say on the faithfulness of God to the youth. Hello, and thanks for coming uh, to celebrate with us. We appreciate you. Thank you. It's been a great honor and privilege to have worked with the youths of the Lord's heritage for the past four years. The Bible says that our children are for signs and wonders. This has been true in the life of the youths of the Lord's heritage. The Lord himself has been teaching them, and so the great has been our peace and the peace of the youths. When we see what is going on all around us in the world today, we will know that God himself is raising these children to take on the next generation, to influence them for Christ. And I pray that they would not fail him in Jesus' name. This is not to say that this task has not come with some challenges. However, it's a lot of fun working with the youths, and it feels fulfilling watching them grow physically, spiritually, and mentally. They have grown in Christ. We appreciate God for what he is doing in our midst. The children are making good progress in academic works, in sports, and God himself has been watching over them through their journeys to and through different places for our school. We want to appreciate God today. 
Great indeed has been his faithfulness in the life of our youths. Once again, it's a privilege and a honor, and thanks again for coming. The Children's Department has had s several enriching programs that continue to position them for greatness. The spiritual impacts are obvious. The teachers are glad and consistently ready to explore these great talents to the glory of God. The children leader, Deaconess Bimbo Ogunye, is enthused by what God has done through these programs. This is how she feels. Praise the Lord. Wow, the Lord's heritage is four years old. One, two, three, four. Happy birthday, the Lord's heritage. And the Lord is, we thank God for what God is doing in, in the church, especially in the children's church. On behalf of the children and the teachers of the Lord's Heritage Children's Church, we want to say happy birthday and we give God all the glory for what he is doing in his, in his, in a, in his church. Um, recently, we've been doing lots of programs. Recently, we had our, for the first time, we had our vacation Bible school and it was a time that the children came together and they studied the Word of God at length for a whole week. Studied the Word of, I mean, the word of God and God manifested himself in, in, their, in their midst. Also, the Lord has been showing his glory over our children. Many of them got our word in the past year. Many of them have graduated. And also talking about our women. Our women are getting pregnant and more babies are coming into the church. We thank God for his faithfulness to, to, to the church and to the children. God is indeed faithful. Praise the Lord. The Redeemed Christian Church of God, our Lord's heritage, has experienced phenomenal growth both numerically and spiritually. In these four years of existence, we cannot thank God enough. There are yet more grounds to accomplish, but in all things, we are extremely grateful to God. Programs are enriching, powerful, and the sustained growth in spiritual developments are obvious reasons why the children of God in our Lord's heritage are manifesting. The difference is clear. As we celebrate this fourth anniversary, we welcome you and your family to the family of the happiest children of God. As you rejoice with us, we decree that you will surely manifest positively in every good area of your life. God bless you.